Hi, this is Tom Crean, and this is, I'm going to teach you how to play Luke Bryan, What She Wants Tonight, guitar and ukulele bonus. I have a sheet of this charted out so you can see what I'm talking about. Chords on this are pretty easy. Um, the rhythms, maybe not. So it's right there. So pretty much it's the same uh, chordal pattern throughout the, the whole thing. It's So you're going to have... So in slow motion, down up, down up, da 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 four. So you got E, A flat minor, G flat major are your chords. Um, there's a few times you can... Like on the verse, and then obviously in the chorus, they're just, you know, straight strumming down. Uh, I'll go through the chords. Um, this is not the easiest set of chords. Um, you got your E, A flat minor, or G sharp minor. Uh, so that's so E is open two two one open open. Uh, the A flat minor or G sharp minor is four six six four four four, and then the G flat or F sharp is two four four three two two, and those are your three chords on guitar. Um, I you could also do the following, which this is not what's happening in the recording, but this would make this a lot easier if you're having trouble with this, and you want to strum. Tune your whole guitar down a half step. Not gonna do it, and because then you get you get excuse me F A minor G G, which I think for people who want to strum songs, that's the most likely situation you're going to actually want to use because that's going to give you the information you want. That's what you, you're going to want to sing and play the song. So I think that's what most people are going to want. But if you want to be accurate, there's bar chords and power chords. Let me quickly show you on ukulele. On ukulele, you could also tune down and it also gets, if you tune it down a whole step, it becomes... You tune it down a whole step, so then you have F, A minor, G. However, if you want to play it in the right key and uh, keep it uh, in standard tuning, you're going to have to do something a little trickier. So I'm going to I'm going to just show you a few quick options. They're all involve a lot of bars, a little tricky. Uh, the probably the trickiest part of this one is. I'm going to use a few options that skip the fourth string um, and just keep that in mind and what I'm talking about. So uh, the E, you can start here. And so there, I'm, 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 I'm only playing on three, two, and then one. I'm skipping the fourth string altogether. Um, so if you want to know, it's four, four, two, and then I'm up to, this is kind of up there. Um, so it's, uh, excuse me, so that's uh, eight, seven, six, and then I'm going down to six, six, four. And then just to show you, you, you can ch change it up a little bit. I went down that time, so that's a one, two, one for the G flat, and then and the A flat minor there. You can go there and 
just to give you some options, but probably one of the better ones is to go up to the E and that's four, 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 seven. I don't know, I personally like that. I think that is a really nice sound. That's probably what I would mix along with a lot of the three finger voicings if I was playing this on ukulele. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to download in the description uh, the chart so you can play this. And have a great day.